Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back for another sit down video with me. I'm excited to be here today because let me tell you, I just always love a good conversation on the internet. So here's your reminder, grab a drink. I'm drinking my favorite grapefruit spindrift today. And let's jump into the topic of insecurity. I know. <laughs> What a topic, but here's the deal. Many of you know, if you've watched any of my last couple videos that I have been working on a project behind the scenes that I'm very excited to share with you very soon. But this project has really got me thinking in a lot of different ways. But one of the thoughts that has come to mind is how many people in the world rock around all day feeling insecure in who they are, constantly feeling like they're drowning in the lies of the enemy. I wish I could say I have no idea how that feels. I have never had an insecure day or moment. <laughs> I don't know what it means to feel swallowed up by the lies of the enemy. But the truth is for years I lived filled with shame. So much so that not even the closest people in my life knew what was truly going on inside. I believed that if anyone knew the depth of the battle that I fought in my mind, they wouldn't love, see, or accept me. And that's a dangerous place to be because we have a need as human beings to be seen, known, and loved even in our most broken, fragile places. So if the enemy can get us to a spot where he tells us, where he convinces us that we are not secure in who we are, if he can taint our self-perception, I'm certain he can convince us of just about anything. Because if there's one thing that is true, it is that you have been created in the image of God for a unique purpose. So I feel strongly about this because I feel like the enemy stole years of my life convincing me that I should just be quiet, that I am not enough. And if anyone really knew what was going on, I wouldn't be loved. So I've had enough. I'm on a journey and I want to help you. I want to help you get to the other side of the constant battle of feeling insecure in yourself and like the enemy is winning in your mind. I'm going to share a few insights with you today in this video, but I have really felt this deep in my heart recently. And so I have created a little additional resource for you today. And if you want to take it a step further, you can sign up for the free three day insecurity security detox where you will learn how to effectively fight the lies of the enemy with me and so many other women. And so if you are interested in that, you can click the link that I will leave in the description box and receive the free guide delivered directly to your inbox. Okay. But without further ado, let's jump into the topic of insecurity. Here's the deal. I think that many of us assume that insecurity looks like that stereotypical insecure teenager who's plastering foundation on her acne and trying to just not be seen by anybody. Or maybe even the girl who has some daddy issues and is continually jumping from one bad boyfriend to the next bad boyfriend. But I would argue that actually insecurity shows up in a variety of different shapes and sizes. It's not always that stereotypical, really reserved, shy girl. It shows up as jealousy, self-doubt, fear, anxiety. It actually is probably something that majority of us have battled at some point in our lives. But the truth is we were not created to live in a constant battle for our confidence. See, the reality is that Christ died a bloody, brutal death on the cross in front of his enemies to prove to everybody that you were worth it, that your purpose was worth it unto that. So then how much more do you think it's important that we put in a fight and become solidified in our God-given identity and confident in our purpose and who we've been created to be? See, I think it's pretty important. In Galatians 5, most of us are probably pretty familiar with this verse. It's talking about the fruits of the Spirit. It's explaining that a life that is filled with the Holy Spirit has fruit in it. And this fruit is things like joy, patience, goodness, 
kindness, self-control, I mean, the list goes on. But you know what's not included in that list is not insecurity, fear, worry, self-doubt. That is not included in the list. So you know what that tells me? It tells me that it's possible to live a life that is rid of insecurity. So how do we practically do this? See, it sounds nice, but Sometimes putting in the work is a little bit more challenging than just saying that you know that it's possible. And I get it. I've been there. I've been there wondering, is it possible to truly live in the fullness of the freedom that I know Christ paid for? Does he get what kind of battle I battle every day in my mind? Will this ever change? And I'm here to tell you it's possible. So here are a few ways that you can begin to effectively rid insecurity in your life. I know it might sound pretty simple, but acknowledge it. Sometimes we try so hard to pretend that that thing is not there, but it's actually oozing and goozing out of us and affecting every area of our life. So you have to acknowledge the ways that the worry, fear, insecurity, doubt is actually impacting your life in the world around you. Do you maybe have thoughts that if somebody knew this thing, I'm just not sure that I'd be accepted? Or I think my problem might be too big for the God of the universe. Or maybe you recognize that jealousy easily comes up inside of you and you envy other people. Or maybe you just don't feel like you ever show up fully yourself. You feel like you're half there and when you leave, you're disappointed that you didn't show up more confidently. The truth is you don't have to stay there, but the first step is acknowledging it and knowing that it is there. It makes matters worse when we just can put on a good show. Perfectionism is a great friend to insecurity, but it's just a mask. You don't actually live with a genuineness and authenticity that we all desire deeply. So here's my second tip for you. Don't do it alone. So often insecurity pushes us into isolation and feeling alone on the journey, but we're not created to do it alone. So I want to encourage you, and this might take some courage, to invite people, trusted people, into your process. Begin to share with them the very real things that you are going through, the ways that you are seeing insecurity show up in your life, or that the ways that the enemy continually challenges you through your day. Things that are in the dark have this weird ability to grow like wildfire in our hearts. But when they are brought into the light, they are illuminated. The things that once were dark now become the very source of light in our life because what the enemy means for evil, the Lord turns for good. So don't leave it in the dark. Invite people into your process. Share with them. They may not know the right thing to say or the right thing to do, but it's the very act of bringing the thing that's been hidden in the dark into the light vulnerably that causes it to lose its power over you. Okay, and you might need a little extra courage for this one, but do the things that have made you feel insecure and afraid. Often we pray and dream and ask God to take this thing away from us overnight. And sometimes that happens and it's beautiful, but sometimes, and I would say more often than not, it doesn't because the Lord has a beautiful plan to build a muscle and a strength in us in the process that will be necessary for us to stay confident and secure in who we are when the waves and storms of life come. You're building a muscle. You're building a new strength. The process is important. So continually do the things that have caused you to be insecure. Shift your mindset. Remember the truth about who God says you are and go out confidently reminding yourself because the truth is is with the continual repetition of standing up and facing insecurity in the face and confronting the lies of the enemy, you begin to build a strength and begin to walk a new path of security that will change the trajectory of your life and affect the way that you show up in the world and your internal world feels inside of you. So ladies, gentlemen, I hope this was helpful for you. If you are in the midst of battling or even just wanting to feel more secure and confident in yourself, because here's the truth. 
you have been created for a wonderful purpose on the earth and all of heaven waits at the edge of their seat to see you fully flourishing and thriving in who you've been created to be. So don't waste time. Don't continue to walk in the, in the world of worry and fear because it doesn't seemingly affect you right now. You've been created for so much more than that. It's not worth settling for less. So ladies, I wanna encourage you once again to join me on the three-day insecurity detox where we are going to effectively fight the lies of the enemy. You can join me with the link in my description and I really hope to see you there. It's going to be a beautiful time. I cannot wait to see what the Lord does inside of you over the three days of the detox. So ladies, gentlemen, like always, until next time, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week. I'll see you then.